another morning guys the sailboat's on the move it's about seven seven o'clock in the morning somewhere around there so i've just heated off and i'm having issues with my solar charge controller i think This is my charge controller here. At the moment all the lights are working and it's charging off the solar, but this morning there were no lights on there at all last night. There should be a power light, a battery light, to say that it's plugged in and that there's power to it. And then this morning when I got up it wasn't and then to get it going I put my wee power tester then this is, the, this is the cable that the solar comes in from so I put it onto here like this got the light on and then all of a sudden it's starting so I don't understand why I've done this twice now I did this Easter afternoon and this morning so I don't really understand what's going on with it so we'll see what happens It hasn't been charging properly for the last couple of days and I haven't really figured out exactly why so anyway we'll see how long that lasts maybe van life is just like boat, boat life where you're just fixing stuff in exotic locations where that boat go And holding on to my banana and um what? <laughs> holding on to my banana. How do you know it's your banana? It could be anybody's banana. It's my banana. <laughs> well, you can't just go around holding on to anybody's banana, can you? I mean yeah. pancakes, bacon, special way to put bacon. Especially pot boiled bacon. <laughs> Someone didn't bring two frying pans. I don't know who there's someone you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you keep bringing this someone up. Anyway. Someone. <laughs> what a feast. He's a little pussy, wasn't he? <laughs> well, he must be the boss, all right. Yep. Hang <laughs> on. Just wander back up and have a look. Here he comes. Hey guys, just wondering if he had some more. Just floating around, I'm a little bit hungry, you know. Like you said, you can't make enough noise, you can just quietly snackle them. Had it all for yourself. And so with that, it was time to pack up our gear and head on off onto the next destination. Of course, I couldn't go on to the next destination without giving you a little ticket tour around the campsite that we have here. Just so you get a bit of a view of what it's like. And yeah, you literally are right on the water. Every campsite is pretty well right on the water. It's great. All right, time to hit the road north, heading for somewhere, somewhere north.
Of course, this uh, Nelson Blenheim area of uh, New Zealand is one of the biggest uh, wine producers in the country. Uh, I'm not a big fan of wine, so we don't stop and go have a look at wineries or anything like that. But you can if you want. Pretty sure every man, mother and dog either owns a vineyard or works on a vineyard up here in uh, Blenheim. That being said, it's a cool place, I like it. We're in Blenheim. Stop to go to the warehouse. Get a central warehouse thing. If you're going through Blenheim, make sure you stop in at the Air Force Museum. Blenheim has one of the best Air Force Museums in the country and uh, it's definitely worth stopping in and having a look. The displays are amazing. I think um, Peter Jackson helped design them or something. I can't remember now, but there's, there's, there's something. It's worth looking at. Like if you're driving through, definitely stop and have a look. It's good. Alright, we're on our way to the Rye Valley, um, to a campsite, it's a dock campsite called um, Harvey Bay Dock Campsite. Uh, I've never been there before so uh, we'll go check it out. It's not a free campsite, I think it's like $8 a person or something like that, but we'll go see what, it's, see what it's like, see what it's all about.
Polaris Bridge. I'm gonna walk down to the water, see if we wanna go for a swim. Mm. Nice car. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted one of these. I'll just comment on the fact that there's no um, no sand flies or anything in here. It surprises me actually. Mm. It's a nice bush though, eh? Beautiful. Everybody likes a nice bit of bush. Well, apparently not so much these days. <laughs> well. Everyone likes to clear the bush out of the way, you know. And just have some nice smooth just empty grass or well, not even grass you know. Oh, How could you not want this? Hmm. 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 Could you not? Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey? yeah. I had to go for a walk over the bridge. Interesting, there's a section out of the middle that's not there, eh? Cool wee spot, there's a campsite and a cafe as well. We've just turned off onto Rongo Road, heading toward Tennyson's Point. And up there are some of the many much aligned pine trees. Poor old pine trees. Wow, we've got to take another ride. But yeah. Poor old pines. Everybody loves them and everybody hates them. You can't win in this world, even when you're a tree. So we've stopped at this something or other saddle. What was it called? Some saddle anyway. Great view. It's basically just a little pull-off piece. It's not actually marked as like a campsite or anything, but it's on the app, so. Dubbards. There's a there's a walking track here. And you can mountain bike it. So yeah, that's um it ain't very level, but, you know, pretty cool view though, I don't know, I'm, I'm keen.
we're at the uh, <laughs> Harvey Bay campsite, which is pretty cool. And I'm just fucking around with my solar. And I think I've got it sorted because it, I think it's the solar panel. But I'm working away and then I uh, happen to look over here and there's goats. Right, right there. <laughs> I don't know if they're wild goats or... I don't seem too bothered. I need to charge up my GoPro. It's hot too. So after we make ourselves some lunch, we're going to go find ourselves a swimming hole, hopefully. Thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of the campsite while I uh, go and find me, fill out my paperwork. That's like the campground paperwork, not like dropping the kids off at the pool kind of paperwork. I don't think there's a lot here. Seems like um, I'm just going to be pay and display office -y thing, which is somewhere around here. There's a few people camping. They reckon you shouldn't be able to get caravans and stuff down here, but I mean, if that guy gets his boat down, there's the old pop top caravan as well. Ah, oh, there it is, there's the pay, pay box. I actually thought this campsite would be a lot busier. Eight dollars a night per person. Pay in there. Use the wee thingy majiggies. Which I'll take one. One of these guys. Oh, there is a tap over there. There's a tap over there. And then as you come in, you get a couple of long drops. There's another tap there. Of course you got to boil water because they don't test it and they don't do anything with it, it's just straight out of the ground. It's quite cool though. Not too many um, sand flies and midges and things. There's a bird in the tree but I couldn't get it on camera so, you know. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just looking at a tree. Just uh, stumbled across a musical bush. Bellbirds. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. And quite unassuming as well, eh? Like they're just little green birds. You can spot them in a green tree. I don't know if you can see them. They're even under there. There ain't too much splash in the water between the green ones. I was just about to hop into that little pool too, it looks yeah. so inviting. Must be deep eh? Yeah, what are we doing? This is my pool. I mean at your peril. Did 
Yeah, it's a meal, isn't it? Yeah, it's a meal. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's not moving fast. 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 He's not Where are you? Where is yours? Oh, you're looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hiding. Never mind what I thought. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get run over on this dodgy narrow road. So we're talking to a guy at the campsite, and he said this valley never got logged. It's never been logged ever. So that is pure New Zealand natural bush. Mm -hmm. Can y'all can y'all see the tui up there? Make some noise, tui. He's like right there on the end of my finger. <laughs> Make some noise. Hey little. Ow ow. Marco. <laughs> We found the water. What was it? Tennyson in Inlet or something mm -hmm. like that. Something like that anyway. I'm not sure if this is Tennyson Inlet or the other side of the hill is Tennyson Inlet over here, but we'll see. So, we're there, and we've walked to here, I guess, so, eh? yeah, and then they were, apparently there's a good swimming spot here, which is obviously where the person's swimming, so, hmm. Oh, bulls. Hello. What's you doing? It's so still. All you can hear is paradise ducks and pikikos. There you have it. Harvey Bay. In the middle of bum fuck nowhere. They obviously do hay, have boats, and raise bulls. <laughs> this is a big paddock of bulls. We're gonna walk back up this hill here, back to camp. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of up that hill, over the top of there, and then down a wee bit, and then up another hill, and then around, and then down again. Yeah, you, you get the idea. You get the idea. <laughs> Might be longer than that. It's probably more uphill than downhill. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably not a bad big swimming hole down there. I wonder how many eels are in this one. Mm. 